One of the things that we find in timber framing, as with every um, style of construction, is that there are different terms used uh, differently in different parts of the country. And so one of the things that we like to do in the class is bring everyone onto the same page, both literally and figuratively, so that when we refer to a framing member in the structure, you understand what it is that we're referring to. So I'm just gonna run through the framing members and label them so that you're, you're comfortable with them as we proceed with the layout and cutting of the frame. So all of the framing members in the structure that are, have vertical grain are posts. We will refer to these as posts throughout the class. And all of the framing members that have grain running horizontally when they're up in the structure are beams. So we have nine posts and we have three carrying beams. We have two top plates, which are also beams. We have the floor joists. And in this design, there are several different types of floor joists. We'll get into that later. I'm just giving you an overview of the terminology at this point. And then we have roof rafters. The last framing member in this structure would be the wind braces. So those are all of the terms for the individual framing members. When we go to assemble the structure, there are a couple of terms that we use once we have some of the pieces put together, and they are you know, important pieces. The first would be the roof rafters. So each one of these, when assembled, is a rafter set. So there are seven rafter sets. There are 14 rafters. The other term that is worth noting is when we go through the assembly process, we put the carrying beam and three posts together on the ground and then lift it up into position. And so these three posts, when assembled with this carrying beam, comprise one bent. So in this structure, there are three bents. And sometimes you might consider making the building longer. So going from a 24 by 24 to a 24 by 36 or 24 by 48. And in order to make it longer, you would be adding bents and they are 12 feet on center. So let's just go ahead and recap these terms that we described. Our posts, are easily remembered because they have the vern, the, the vern, the grain running <laughs> vertically. <laughs> so we have our posts, which are easy to remember because the grain runs vertically when they are in position. We have our beams, the grain runs horizontally when they are in position. We have our floor joists. We have our top plates, which our roof rafters are sitting on. We have our roof rafters and our wind braces. And then for the actual assembly process, we have rafter sets and we have our bents. Remember the bents are comprised of our three posts and our carrying beam, which we assemble on the ground and lift up into position. Hey there, thank you for watching. Here at Shelter Institute in Woolwich, Maine, we teach a wide variety of house building and timber framing and carving classes. We'd love to see you here, but if you can't make it to Maine to take one of our classes, our online class is available at shelterinstitute.com.